Here is the interview that Wayne Carbron's favourite daytime jock conducted with Edwina Curry. Right, well, this week's guest needs absolutely no introduction at all. Hello there. Hello. Now, listen, you and your book, A Parliamentary Affair, it's published in a non-stiffy, non-tumescent form uh, just around now or whatever. Now, I want to get to the root of this. How do you write a book? Oh, God, you sweat. <laughs> you uh, you're calling me a sweat? Anybody that thinks you can just sit y down hang and on, you, you calling me kidding themselves. You're calling me a sweat? No, no, it, it, to no, but, write no, a book, to write a novel... A big one. No, you like said that. you. You said you little sweat. Uh, what is what is that? Uh, you've lost me there. Well, um, <laughs> um, I don't want to make anything of it, but uh, to tell us how how you write a book, then, how do you set about it? The first thing that I did was write a synopsis. Okay, so if you are a little sweat like me, as you say, and uh, I still don't know what it means, but it does sound insulting. Uh, you've got the frame. You've got the sin. The, uh, on the envelope. Synopsis. Yeah. Okay, so what happens? You say, I'm going to write some words. And when do you do that? In the morning or afternoon? Mornings. And why do you think that is? Is that because you're closest to your dreamland? Because uh, I've just had a good night's sleep, usually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> particularly sometimes, but not extraordinarily also particularly true with uh, some of the people in this book. Well, if... I, it, different people's minds work in different t ways during the day. It suits me fine, because Parliament si uh, sits in the afternoon. Right. And it said sleeps in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> and that gives me my morning spree. <laughs> sleeps. Okay, now, listen. Date rape, let's look at that for a second. Pretty shocking, difficult thing to deal with. Mm. So it is one of those things that does bring a big mmm to mind, really. Yeah, well... <laughs> let's get back to the culture thing. We look at culture, it unites young people... How do you feel when these hyper-Visigoths like Bobby Gillespie incorporate skiing into babies on his stage act show? Good grief. And a lot of people, they're very big right now. I don't like anything that involves violence. I've seen some stage acts that yep. are horrible. Right. Uh, but on the other hand, one of the things the youth culture does much better is very quick use of words, improvisation, um, the comedy club, that sort of thing. Ooh. Very, very good. Much better. But that's better. all dying out now. You know, when you've got these scenes like a uh, grown man, Scottish guy, so kind of long snout like Illy Nastasi, greasy hair, skiing into babies on stage. Where are the words, excuse me, but I don't understand? Ignore him. If nobody takes any notice of him, he'll do something d different, better, maybe. Excuse me, but, uh, you know, if you're in a crowd of 4,000 people at the Ham Flam Odeon and, uh, like, you're ignoring him and everybody else isn't, what can you do? Say, excuse me, don't look oh. at that. Go buy a good novel. Exactly, but you know what? How does that help? I mean, if, if kids are looking <laughs> yeah, more at fun. well, there's a the whole thing like the cyber splat market now that's coming in on the PC business and all the computer games and stuff. You've got uh, sub evil characters. Uh, Chronic the Drug Wasp, you've got uh, the Lunatic Infector. It's getting worse all the time. How does that make you feel? I hate anything that involves violence. I hate anything that involves hurting other people or animals or whatever. But in the end, people's tastes shift from generation to generation. Well, that's all very duty and hip, but does that mean that you're actually approving of uh, the Lee Harvey Oswald game, all the president's brains? No, of course not. Okay, listen, I've got to ask you a question. How mad are you? Who are you trying to impress? Oh, crumbs. I'm just trying to do a good job, that's all. Not your maverick half-dad, Tim. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Or your dead brother, John. <gasps> well... Uh... Right. OK. Now, listen. Um, can I read a section of your book? Which bit? Well, I've got a choice. Page 166. Uh, Go ahead. Page 166. Here we are. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? It's actually a bit long, that one. Thank you, Edwina. Um, and listen, write a shorter book next time, because long doesn't always equal clever. Just a word of advice for you there, okay?